Hello and welcome to Comp. Hello. Hello, Lucy. Hi. How are you? I'm very good. And I have I actually have a question for you. Okay. Go ahead. Do you like Christmas? Do I like Christmas? Do you enjoy the, the holiday, holiday of Christmas? The the rituals that go along with it? Santa Claus. Yeah. And all that. <laughs> sure. Gifts. Yeah, it's fine. Celebrations. Yeah. Well, 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 well we need to address that. Why, why, do you, why do you just say fine? I like it. I mean, I, I, I feel like it's not manly to say to like really like Christmas. Hmm. And I'm just <laughs> trying to like I want I want I don't want people to think I'm not an alpha male. Oh, okay, that's fair. But I like Christmas, sure. I mean, yeah. who doesn't? Yeah. So I mean, okay, so that's just the, that's just boilerplate suppression of your yeah emotions. Just so like, I won't admit to like in flowers either. Okay. All right. Got it. All right. What if I told you yeah. that in three weeks it was going to be Christmas? I mean, I would have you committed. You would have me committed? To like an institution of some <laughs> sort. Like, I, what, what do you mean? Is it, is wait, 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 wait. Did, did I have I, a, if I said something a little bit weird, you would have me committed immediately? I mean, I would try. I don't know if they would <laughs> listen to me. I mean, I would definitely, uh, I would reach out to a, I, I, do they even put people, can you commit people anymore? I feel like those people all just live on the subway now. Um, the people who used to commit. Yeah, it's very hard to commit someone involuntarily. Right. So I just, you know, just just be aware of that. I'm, will, I'm willing to put the work in. <laughs> so I mean, like, I'm, I'm pretty tenacious. Um, yes, yeah, so that, that's 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 where I'm coming from. Well, <laughs> I didn't know. Well, I, I didn't know you were so institutionalizing your wife crazy. Well, I just said. I mean, I, where, where is this coming from? This idea that we're gonna make Christmas? Well, it's, it's, like, it's like September fifth or something, and you're telling me it's gonna be Christmas in three. Like, are you trying? Are you just trying to like gaslight me? Are you trying to like? Are you trying to make a fool out of me? Mm. You trying to make people? Are you, do you? Are you? Like, I would assume that you're the best case that you're trying to like have a power of attorney taken from me, like, granted to yourself. <laughs> Uh, by ha- making me look like, you know, come out in public on the show and start talking about how it's Christmas. And, he's cl- and then some, you and some lawyer having an affair or something. <laughs> I, you know, I, was, I watched a film, no- some movie this week, Billy, the film, film Noir uh, or whatever. Witness for the prosecution. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. and, and now I'm very suspicious of everyone. <laughs> um, so, but, but, you know, why you ask? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, I ask because it will be Christmas in three weeks. If you're in Venezuela. That seems racist. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? I, mean, I know like different parts of the world, like, like Australia has their summer where we have winter. Is that what's going on? Um, no, no, that's not what's going okay. on. Okay, it's not a time zone Christmas? Venezuela is uh, doubling down on its commitment to Christmas. The Venezuelan... Is that... we doubling down? That, <laughs> I've never associated Venezuela with a commitment to... I mean, not to disparage them, but a commitment to Christmas <laughs> was never the first thing I thought of when I think of Venezuela. That's what Hugo, Hugo Chavez reigned, right? And, uh, uh, yes. and a man named Maduro, I believe. Yes, Nicolas nev- Maduro. I now. never heard, like, did they call him Saint Nick? Was was Chavez like a big like a big? I mean, I'm sure they like who doesn't like it, but I never saw like Chavez wearing a Santa suit. <laughs> um. Well, I mean, maybe he will now. Maybe, okay. Maybe Is he, he alive? Will. Uh. Yes. Oh, okay. You and go Chavez. He. No. Oh, I'm sorry. No. Nicholas Maduro. Okay. And uh, so Maduro. Is he still in power? He is. Isn't he the guy who's been in power for a long time? Oh, yeah. And didn't they have a bunch of problems a few years ago? <laughs> I mean, maybe. I, <laughs> okay. I, look, look they're, they're every, every country has its issues. Okay? I, I got to be honest. I, like, it's possible that I just never, because I don't, I, I should know more about Venezuela. Mm. I've heard that their oil is not that great. It's very thick and like, and, and chunky. And it's like, you know, well, they have a lot of oil money, and someone else would say, well, like, their oil isn't as good, which just seems like a very classist thing to say. Yeah. Like, their oil is that's shitty oil. It's bad oil. Yeah, what are you going to do, eat it? Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> but that's all I know. I mean, I, I never I never went further. I know they had, like, a hyper an inflation issue. Mm-hmm. Um but you're well, saying look, this is all very negative. But you're saying I, I, I want to focus on the positive things about Venezuela, like the fact that Venezuela's president. Yeah. Is declaring Christmas right. will begin in October from now on in Venezuela. It'll begin in October or sub- September. It'll begin in October. Okay. And go so like a, apparent, a, a, I guess, mere, mere, December. mere weeks away from now. Hmm. Okay. Well, I mean, will it last until December, or is it just? Begin, I mean, that only help if it doesn't last till December. Then that only helps you one time. We get, we get, he always oh, Christmas starts in October now, and it's like all right, cool. But then like it's still gonna be a year away. 
is Christmas going to last for three months in Venezuela? What does that mean? That's a good point. How, how are you going to go broke trying to give your kids gifts? If it if it starts early and ends early, that's that's lame as fuck. You know, those kids with Hanukkah gifts, you saw, you, 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 like, oh, we have seven days of gifts. And then you talk to them and, like, yeah, sometimes they're rich kids. But sometimes it's just like, yeah, you get one, you get, you know, a video game and then, like, six days of, like, they give you a marble mm. or dreidel or whatever, you know? Is this, then how bad are the gifts going to get after two, two, two months? Three months, <laughs> you can start getting like you can start getting like you know ta- like you know here's a parking ticket <laughs> that was left in my car. How is this a, even a gift? Here's a here's a carrot. It's, it's, <laughs> you know? Yeah, it's it's not very good. Here's a subscription to the Comp Podcast Patreon. <laughs> See how I did that there? A little plug there. Yeah. Well, while you're here, we're gonna get to the bottom of this. But remember, remember to like and subscribe, and uh, to the Comp Podcast here. You know, click the notification bell so we can, you can hear more about Christmas in, in October. <laughs> and, uh, come, you know, patreon.com slash Ray Comp. You can get an extra episode every week for five bucks a month. And, and even if you're in Venezuela, that's that's Christmas. Why don't you, why don't you tell them about that? But go on. <laughs> go on. Tell us about this. Uh... <laughs> that's, that's right about it. I'm sure that this is probably, honestly, it's good It's good to see, like, a feel-good story coming out of Venezuela. I don't feel good yet. <laughs> Venezuela's president, Nicolas Maduro, declares Christmas to begin in October. Nicolas Maduro's announcement comes as thousands of people have been arrested. <laughs> <laughs> Since pro- well, whatever. So this is a biased article. Since protests erupted <laughs> over the election in July, for which the authoritarian leader has failed to provide evidence. Right. I thought he was like. I thought he was. Uh, they voted to get rid of him or something, and then he just stayed. Look, it's- we talk. We like to talk all kinds of shit about <laughs> Venezuela and the United States. But that's kind of what happened, right? Where at least people argue that, right? People argue he didn't win, but even though he's still in power, and now he's now he's made made a Christmas. <laughs> That's actually not a bad idea. I mean, I don't know why Trump didn't think of that. I mean, I guess the problem was our elections are kind of close to Christmas. It's after, you know, like, yeah. you know, like they're, you know, in that time he kind of, instead of doing, doing all that, like, appealing and, like, oh, challenging the vote, maybe he should have just said it's Christmas and then, like, we just we forgot and then he would just never left. Yeah. But, you know, okay, so he's, so I'm not even going to get into why he's arresting all these people. <laughs> That's not important, I guess. <laughs> What's like, what is like what is the, on the menu then for for Christmas the October Christmas date like is it gonna be like a like a fall Christmas like you know, like a nice pumpkin soup? <laughs> but, okay, well let's see what let's see some details here. Okay, uh, Venezuela's authoritarian president Nicolas Maduro has declared Christmas will start three months early in the country, and a move which some have suggested was made to further his own political goals. I think that's cynical. That sounds very cynical. <laughs> You know, yeah. let's just appreciate appreciate Christmas when it comes. Go on. Venezuela has been gripped by protests over July's contested presidential election, which saw Mr. Maduro reelected for a third ter- term despite global skepticism over the results. I mean, are we still playing this game where we're like, hey, like you're Venezuela, we don't trust your elections. Like, can we do that still? We haven't been doing well with it. I'm not saying like you know all this. Stuff for, I grew up in, like, and like, and they made it seem like every country you know there wasn't us in England. You know when, when you know when they voted like there was guys with guns in the, in the polling place, mm. and maybe they were, but I don't know. But they, 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 no one could have an election but us, <laughs> and now it doesn't seem like we can either. Like everyone's saying we're gonna have a civil war if if, if, if you know regardless of the outcome. Mm. So we, are we still playing? Well, we're gonna be skeptical of Venezuela because they have you know because they're. They have chunky oil. <laughs> it just seems well, whatever. Cause, cause they're, just because their oil hits different. Yeah. Um, but go on. We're so people people are questioning him, but it doesn't matter. Uh, but despite the arrests of thousands of his critics, the former bus driver turned politician seems to have, oh bus driver. That seems like a dig. Well, all right, it's yeah. good for him. But the I mean, they're basically. I mean, this is this is like a lead. This is basically don't don't elect. The wor- working class people, they'll become dictators and yeah, dis- I, and sure. uh, be which, all postmodernist about it. Which might Christmas. be true. I mean, like there, there is a, there is something to the idea of like you know, we have we have we have we have dirt on each other. And you mm. can only do so much, right? I mean, I hate to admit it, but you know, it's the royal. You know, when the the monarchies, everyone was a dramatic. They're all they're all related to each other, mm. and that worked out, and that was pretty good. We got rid of that, and then we had World War One, <laughs> didn't we? Yeah. As soon as they shot one of them, the, the World War One happened. Just saying, I'm like, man, you know, I, I, I don't like the idea of a king, but I mean, yeah, it's, it's not bad in Mario Brothers, mm. Mario Three. 
the king. I guess you're right. I guess there are there is some security in incest. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's a lot. I mean, honestly, that, people don't talk about that enough. They just talk about how hot it is, <laughs> or, how, you know, or, or how your kids won't be, you know, won't go to um, MIT if you right. do it. But I mean, you know, it's like there is a certain amount of you know just kind of <laughs> built in uh, safety. <laughs> um, <laughs> d- the bus driver turned politician seems to be focusing on something else entirely: Christmas. Why well, that should be? I mean, are, are we sure that it's a dig? Because that is also like that should be like the Rocky story. Mm. Like, oh, you were a bus driver, and now you you run Venezuela. Right. That's pretty good. That's great. That's like I mean, Rocky didn't even win in the end. When well, the, the next movie he did, but whatever. <laughs> Just saying, like, and people were inspired by that. And then we're acting like you know why shouldn't shouldn't he? Honestly, how can we say? That like somehow Venezuela is not like a, a free country when a bus driver became the president. Yeah, was it like a rich kid who like as a joke rode, drove the bus one? Like he got kidnapped. He like he stole a bus <laughs> or something, or is he actually a bus driver? I think he was an actual bus driver. That's way more impressive than I think anyone who's ever been president of America. <laughs> I'm not a socialist, but I'm just. But that is, I don't know the Venezuela is Venezuela a socialist. I know Chavez was. I don't know enough about this, but I'm just saying that's pretty impressive. Yeah. Oh no, a bus driver has never gotten near the presidency. How are we so smug about democracy or whatever, or being free, or, and you can do whatever you want? A bus driver runs the country. <laughs> Ralph Cramden got to the top of the food chain. I mean, uh, here the bus driver is a is a is a, is a symbol of scorn. Hmm. You know, the, the only bus driver with a statue is literally you know Jackie Gleason. If you're a poor authority, is a statue of a fake man. That's a real thing. Look it up. I'm just saying, this is this is like the freest country I've ever heard of. So you're oh, so, so it's, it, I what I what I hear is that you're open minded about Venezuela. Well, yeah, I mean, like they're letting the bus driver. I mean, I don't know if it's gonna end well when you let the. I mean, again, I'm not. I think I think having a, you know, I'm not saying the bus driver is necessarily qualified, mm. but it's definitely free. It seems freer. At least in that respect. Uh, it's this is a quote from him. It's September and it already smells like Christmas. The sixty-one-year-old said on Monday what night. What does Christmas smell like? Uh, <laughs> like pine trees, P- pine, snow. Is pine really big in South America? Again, I'm not the most. I've never been to Venezuela. I don't. Do they have a huge pine thing going on down there? I wouldn't imagine that you would get the snow, the the coldest Christmas in Venezuela. Is but... that more like a Pacific Northwest thing or something? I don't know. <laughs> But uh, pine trees. Maybe things start to maybe maybe the oil starts to seep up <laughs> to the ground, and you get a real whiff of that that chunky oil smell. Wow! So oil seep it, yeah. Okay, and then uh, so like, is there some like contradiction where like a kid slips on oil and cracks his head open? And you go, oh, it was the first the first oil uh, <laughs> concussion of the of the season. Yeah, and then you have to kiss over him. Kiss over him? Yeah. I'm not, I don't like, I don't like mixing kissing and kiss. These people, <laughs> that's, that's these people, their version of mistletoe. These people with their, you know, with their different conspiracies and all this stuff. I, I don't even want to do mistletoe over a, a, a concussed kid. <laughs> I'm saying let's just not do any of it. <laughs> that's a tradition. I'm not saying they have the wrong intention there when they kiss over a concussed child. <laughs> but I'm just saying avoid just just avoid the the, the, the propriety of it all. So go on. <laughs> Um, that's why this year, as a way of paying tribute to you all and in gratitude to you all, I am going to decree an early Christmas for October 1st. The Venezuelan Episcopal Conference on Tuesday criticized the announcement as they warned the holiday, quote, is not to be used for political or propaganda goals. You know, they really, they said when you, when you if you elect this bus driver, I mean, he's like, he, he, he it's all fun and games until we, we're going to get hyperinflation and, you know, we're, and the country's going to kind of do well and you know, we're going to plunge into chaos. And it's going to be like, man, he's going to end up arresting a lot of people. But I think he's proved them wrong. Yeah. Because he's, he's, I mean, you get Christmas, <laughs> which is nice. But then yeah. again, have we gotten to this part yet where he, did he talk about how long it will last? That's a, that's a good point. Because this does this does seem like and again not to disparage bus drivers, but something a but like a bus driver or a child might you know well it was like Christmas early and it's like well then but you know they'll still be a year away right you know <laughs> right it just seems like a little kid like eating too much candy. Also, like in what way is Christmas going to arrive? Like well, Jesus will be born that much earlier yeah. and you know <laughs> save you know die for our sins or whatever. Mm. I don't know. I, I didn't write the. 
dynamics. Um, how, how close? Look, look, if I if I told you, yeah. I've got two plane tickets to Caracas right now. Isn't that in Pakistan? <laughs> no. Oh, that's Karachi. Okay, <laughs> Caracas. Oh, Re- yeah. Caracas, Venezuela. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. Uh, yeah. I mean, and, and I've got we've we've got two tickets to the Christmas Village. The they have a Christmas Village we're, in and Caracas, we're, and we're gonna podcast from there from the. Uh, Venezuelan Christmas Village that Nicolas Maduro sets up okay. for October 1st. Sure. Let's do it. I mean, are we actually doing this or are you just lying? <laughs> I'm, I'm lying. I'm, I don't know what you thought I would say. No, I won't go to. Yeah, I'll take a free trip to Venezuela. <laughs> and go for, you know? Just because I think it's fa- farcical doesn't mean that you know, I won't you know enjoy the, the eggnog. Mm, yeah, that's true. I mean, That's cre- a good attitude to have. Thank you. You should be able to find uh, delight and pleasure anywhere you are. Yeah, I'm, I'm a Christmas hedonist. Yeah. You know, I'm just like, just give me all the Christmas. There should be Christmas. Ad- you, there, there should be a thing like, like just like alcoholics can be an alcoholic at any time because it's five o'clock anywhere, mm. right? That's all. Uh, that people say it like it's a joke, but I mean it's true. And you should be able to, to like you, you when they make they should they should invent a, a train that goes around the world, and so it's always five o'clock, uh, the five o'clock hour wherever mm. you are, a fast bullet train. And you just get drunk all day. Mm. And then you wouldn't have to be you know, sad about being an alcoholic. And the same <laughs> thing's true for Christmas. They just have a, a, a Christmas train. Also a train. I mean, maybe the same train. But, but <laughs> this one, it'll always be Christmas. Uh, and you just celebrate all year. Or I guess, I don't know. Maybe Christmas would last, uh, how, many, how many time zones are there? Or how many years? How many months? Like, you know, Australia does Christmas in, in, in July, or they don't? I know they have summer. That's the thing. No one, people who live in California don't get cold Christmas. And yeah. this is Australia, I guess. We all just get, you know, different Christmases. I'm thinking, like, well, you guys have summer this time of year, but they just, they just sweat and give each other pine cones. <laughs> they think it's really, it's really exotic. Yeah. Yeah. They think it's, uh, I mean, whatever. Uh, what's, what do they speak in, in Venezuela? Spanish? Spanish, yeah. Intr- okay. Yeah. Yeah, I, I know a little Spanish. We can go down there. Feliz Navidad. Mm. There you go. Uh, cuando uh, quiero eggnog. Si. Yeah. What, what does that mean? <laughs> I just said when wear eggnog, didn't I? <laughs> no, you said uh, I want eggnog. No, I didn't. Quiero eggnog, yeah. Quiero means I want? Yeah. I thought it meant like one of those little roll-up tacos. <laughs> anyway, uh, that's great. That's so good for Venezuela. Um, what if you don't celebrate Christmas? Are you going to be put in jail? Um, you know, that's a good question. That's it. Let's see. You have, you got to read the fine print here. The minimum wage. Oh, wait, why is it minimum wage? I don't think they will improve our salaries or pay us the aguinaldo. She added. Yeah. Referring to the Christmas bonuses that workers usually receive at the end of the year. I said, this is the problem. You do something nice. And like, oh, does that mean we get our Christmas bonus early? And it's like, well, no, <laughs> that's just how we get that in December. We call that a. You know, um, Valentine's Day bonus or whatever. Does that mean Valentine's yeah, Day a, is going to be December? You still want to you want to maintain the climax of Christmas. You just want to extend. I don't think he's doing that. I think he's, I think he, I think this is this is a reaction to put the I'm locking pe- political prisoners up. Mm. And I'm just making it Christmas. I I, I hate to be that guy. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> I think he's gonna I think he's gonna operate the Santa train. Protests erupted over Mr. Maduro, who has been in power since 2013, claiming yet another term as the helm of the South American country. More than 2,000 people have been arrested since. Right, you know, but you don't I mean, think that there are more than 2,000 legitimate criminals in, in, in Venezuela? What are you trying to imply there? <laughs> <laughs> no, sure. Look, I, yeah, I mean, did, did they win a soccer match or something? I mean, I don't know. It's like it's like, it's like like saying like, L.A. is on fire. It's like, well, you know, how are the Lakers doing? Right. Like, yeah, that's, that's, I think most crime in, in, any, in the world is revolves around sports. <laughs> um, anyway, we'll move on from this, I guess, because I feel like I'm just, we're just propagandizing now. We're just, you know what? We should probably read this last part though. Cause it is important. Are you getting content. paid by Venezuela? <laughs> are you, by, are you like those podcasters or whatever that got, that, that they're getting paid by, you know, 
the the, uh, the the Russian government or whatever. Well, you know, if I am, maybe let me make my bag well, so I mean, we can <laughs> take a vacation. To, I was I wasn't upset. So that we can get, we can take a ride on this on this fucking five o'clock train you're talking about. Yeah, I mean, Sunday. no, I, I wasn't asking like in a, <laughs> an accusing way. I, I just get that money. It was <laughs> speaking of. Uh, well, so what's going on? Uh, Tim Pool and uh, who's the other guy? Dave Rubin. What's where's his button? Oh yeah, Dave Rubin's one of them. So U.S. conservative influencers say they are victims of a Russian disinformation campaign. So mm -hmm. that sounds like they got tricked into, you know, tricked into. I mean, not not that they were given millions of dollars. <laughs> we're victims of Russian disinformation. So what's going on? Tim Pool, who's the guy with the beanie, right? Who claims he's like a centrist, but it's like he's always talking, you know, trying to get a civil war going or something. Um, yeah, well, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I don't, I've no, I haven't watched enough Tim Pool. He's a guy, he's a big troll. Uh, and I'll see, you know, come sue me, whatever. Yeah. We can have to rush, have, have Putin sue me, <laughs> whatever. Uh, and Dave Rubin, who was friends with Ben Shapiro, I guess. And Dave Rubin, yeah, I know a little bit more about. He's a very, he's, he, he's, he's one, that I don't, look, I'm not saying because he's conservative. Right. It's not what I'm saying, but he's the one that everyone thinks is very, very stupid, right? Oh yeah. Okay. Like he's just a guy who like he's a lot of gaffes. Yeah. <laughs> um. That's all I know about. You show me a compilation once of of this this man. I I can actually see him getting duped. <laughs> like really. He's like, um, and Benny Johnson, who I've seen on Twitter, he's a very yeah. I've seen him. He a seems like a very bit. cocky man. Very uh, you know you know one, one of these guys who likes the idea of alpha males. Mm. The idea. Ah, I'll smoke a cigar. <laughs> Everything's like nineteen twenties with these guys. Let's smoke a cigar and watch can can dancing. <laughs> Alpha males. Um, so they all were part of this tenant media, um, I guess. But I, I, which I don't know if it covers all of their content or some of their content. Apparently, he, Tim Pool is saying that he, uh, that like his Tim Timcast podcast, which I guess is his big one, is not part of this. I don't know. So whatever, at least some of their stuff. Well, yeah, like this is, I think this is big for them in particular, because even though if you, if you look at Dave Rubin's like podcasting set critically at all, like, yeah. you know, it's pretty obvious that he's like astroturfed by somebody, but it's like, uh, it, uh, you're, you're speaking like we're all just part of the, 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 the young, the young leftists of America. <laughs> what does that mean? Um, you know, just, just like, AstroTurf, like something that's funded by kind of big money. Oh, okay, interest. he's got he's got he's got a but rich. It looks organic. He's got a rich like, daddy. He's got, yeah. <laughs> well, I think like originally, I think for a while people were speculating like, oh, maybe it's like Koch Brothers okay. slash fund is funding him or whatever. Right. They, but like the the big thing about these three guys is that like they all have kind of that uh, fake kind of organic feel of just of like i'm just doing a podcast here right they, like, they, they, they talk a lot they talk a lot about being independent media right which you know it's fine i mean you know so you know what's independent media us <laughs> <This is true. laughs> how's that working out <laughs> this, but uh <laughs> this, this is real independent media. <laughs> <laughs> when when <laughs> But you know when they're when they're you know it's actual independent media when when you know they don't upload for a couple of weeks. Oh, don't talk about I'm that. That's that's, that's that's misinformation. <laughs> that's Christmas. It's Christmas now. Yeah. Um, Tim Pool, Dave Rubin, but so they, they all were part of this tenant media, and apparently that company is funded by the Russian government or got a bunch of money from the Russian government. Mm. Basically, they're getting paid by the Russians. They claim they didn't know. I, you know, this is, and this is an indictment. I didn't mention that. This is an indictment. It's not like a speculation, apparently. Oh. Not that, you know, I mean, it's a DOJ. Not that they've ever made anything up. But, I mean, they have text and stuff. Is it, do they show it in this or is it the other, the other link? Um. Oh, okay. Uh, let's see. Maybe it might be the other one. Okay. Yeah, show, scroll down. Oh, oh not too fast. I I'm can't sorry. read it when you scroll too fast. Uh, let's go one more. Because <laughs> some pool released just give a, me the mouse. Just give me the mouse. Uh, <laughs> but uh, the, this is uh, this has a couple of quotes from Tim Pool and Benny Johnson. Okay. Uh, Johnson, Pool, Rubin, and Southern did not immediately. Oh, Lauren Southern's part of this too. Who's that? Is she the one? Is she Gun Girl? Uh, that's Kit Bennett. Oh, something, right. something Bennett. But like, uh, but it, no, Lauren Southern is like a woman who's. She was part of like that first crop of kind of like alt right 
girls. Oh, okay. And, uh, but also recently she came out against like trad wife shit. So this, this is getting <laughs> great. I don't know. This is like watching uh, Gossip Girl. Uh, <laughs> Johnson, Poole, Rubin, and Southern did not immediately respond to requests for comment. None are accused of wrongdoing. Quote, we are disturbed by the allegations in today's indictment, Johnson wrote on X, referring to himself and his lawyers, quote, which make clear that myself and other influencers are victims in this alleged scheme. Well, I'd love to be a victim. Yeah. I would love to be a victim in this scheme. <laughs> and I'm not even saying they do, but I, uh, but I mean, I would love to have inadvertent. Yeah, come get it back. Seize my money. It's all going to be in in, in, in you know, gold Krugerrands and like, and just uh, Mountain Dew. <laughs> Try to you know, seize that if you want. But uh, but this is uh, here's, scroll more, scroll down. Uh, there was something they had. They had like uh, links or whatever, like of them talking. Basically, they had texts. They had like fucking posts, uh, chats. I don't know. I, I I I'm pretty sure it's in here somewhere. The point is. There's like the, the indictment includes all this stuff where they're like talking on like Discord and they're emailing each other. I know they can read that stuff, but they could just like they could just put that in an indictment. Hmm. Maybe I'm being naive here, but I didn't. I, I I don't. I know they could spy on you, but I didn't realize they could just you know every time you text each other, hey, like isn't it cool that we're getting paid by Putin? Hmm. Like they can use that. I, I guess so. I don't think they should. <laughs> I think I think Edward Snowden had a point. I mean, I'm not like, I'm like this is not great, but who cares? Right. I mean, a little bit. Yeah. Oh, you you can tell me you didn't know these guys were grifters. Anyone making money is a grifter. <laughs> Anyone who isn't us is a grifter. Okay. <laughs> I knew they were grifters. It's like, oh, we we're getting paid by Russia. Well, I mean, they get paid by someone. <laughs> None of this stuff makes sense. <laughs> Why is anyone listening to any of this crap? How? Who can? Who is going to pay us? That's what I want to know. What do you want me to say? Ukraine bad? Oh, the Ukraine's our biggest enemy. Okay, whatever. Well, am I going to hurt the Ukraine? Who's ever looked out for us? Hmm. Oh, the Ukrainian people. What about me? I'd love to have it. Would honestly, the best gig is like uh, doing disinformation for you know a less uh, a less problematic country, basically. Like do it doing some That's propaganda for. How do we get? How do we start? Sweden doing, doesn't need us to run interference for them. I was them. literally thinking Sweden. They don't need <laughs> us. You know who needs us is like you know um, it, it, those pirates, those, <laughs> those Yemeni pirates. They could use some like good talking points. That's who we gotta get money from. The Yemeni, you know, the Yemeni pirates. They get a lot of flack for like you know kidnapping boats and blowing up boats, and I don't think they're that bad. <laughs> I think people, I think there's a lot of misinformation about these Yemeni pirates. You know, <laughs> these Yemeni pirates are just guys on boats. Like, you know, you, I got a lot of guys here talking about, you know, uh, about, about pirating. You, you don't know how to tie a knot. You even know how to sail? When's the last time you, you, you were on a schooner? When's the last time you did, a, you, 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 you moved a jib? <laughs> and you can tell me who a, was a pirate and not a pirate? You know, you even know maritime law. A lot, it's a lot of talk about maritime law. Like you're allowed to see stuff on the open sea. <laughs> People don't understand that it's illegal. That goes back to Jefferson. Right. Some it's a, it's a treaty he signed with the in Tripoli, or something. See the we treaty can, of Tripoli. Can we like uh, that one was on the arm? But I mean, can we? You know, someone reach out and get us some money. I mean, are, are, do they have money? The pirates. That's uh, the problem. They don't <laughs> have money. <laughs> Maybe they steal a lot. How about some of that money find its way to us? <laughs> Um, that would be great. You know, I, we're, I, all I, like, we're, we're, gonna, we're gonna get a DOJ indictment saying we're soliciting pirate money. I mean, honestly, I, I, I'll just, I'll just, I'll put that. In, we should, if that were our situation, yeah, I think we should put it in the tagline of the show. We should just call it Cump, a pirate funded podcast. Well, they don't want that. No, you understand this works. <laughs> uh, I, I picture us in a boardroom, like in a, in a conference room, at some rework meeting with these pirate representatives, <laughs> and you say that. I'm like, oh, she doesn't know what she's saying. <laughs> no, that's, a, that's, I have to say to you performatively, that, that would actually hurt their cause. They want us to seem authentic. And we will be, trust us, sirs, we will be authentic sounding. We're going to sound like we really believe that we're not being paid by you, that we're not shills, right? <laughs> that we actually support pirating, you know, uh, murdering and, and, and robbery on the open seas. 
we just we principle on a principle level agree with that. Mm. It's not because you're paying us the balloons, you know, <laughs> and treasure and bits of treasure. <laughs> see, yeah. see, I look. I understand my approach is counterintuitive, but <laughs> um, you know, the the thing is, authenticity is a is a many layered beast you know you Mm -hmm. gotta like uh you gotta be authentic sometimes it's best to just be authentic about being inauthentic now um in in a time where you know uh, nothing means anything i mean what you're talking about i believe is more of an andrew tate phenomenon Mm -hmm. but we'd have to build a whole cult around us Mm -hmm. it would have to be like tangentially it would have to be a thing where we're teaching you how to grind (laughs) and like and get that money get that bag and, you know, and like, and we admit that we get, yeah, yeah, we sometimes, and you know what? People give us, you know, a lot of crap because we get money from pirates. That sometimes <laughs> when they kidnap a, a businessman or a bunch of, you know, nuns and they get a ransom, we get a little piece of that because we do apologetics for them. Mm. And people say, that's a problem. We're trying to get that bag. <laughs> I want to get a, um, what's a car? What's a fancy car? I want to get a Mustang. You think Andrew's taking it for the Mustang? You don't yeah. even know what I'm talking about. It's not a supercar. Mustangs are like 50 grand or something. <laughs> They're not that expensive comparatively. Uh, anyway, <laughs> point is, that's what we're, you're describing. Mm. We'd, have to, we'd have to build a very misogynist, most likely misogynistic brand. A woman, and you could actually, with you, on the, with you on, the, on, the, on the face of it, that could actually be good. Imagine you just like, I mean, are you willing to... to just throw, throwing bitches under the bus? Throwing bitches under the bus all day. I mean, mm. you could make a lot of money just throwing bitches under that bus. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and then, yeah, and, 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 so, and we'll have to make the pitch to them, like, in the totality, we'll still be kind of putting pirates in a good light, because they'll like us, and pirates give us money. Mm. So on some level, the pirates win. It's not as good as, like, you know, if we, let's just say we were Joe Rogan. And we started talking about how great pirates were. They, that's their that's their grail. But mm-hmm. they can't afford to give him that. I mean, I don't know if he can be bought. But if he can, they they can't afford it. It wouldn't be worth it. But There's a wh- sweet spot with all this. You know, you, you got to be you know small enough that you that you can be bought, but big enough that you know that you can influence you know opinion. It's it's it's, it's kind of like you know, do I buy do I buy a hunt uh, uh, Nissan Sentra. Or by a, uh, a maxima, like what's the what's the val- what's the price to ratio value? <laughs> uh, I mean, like, like what if uh, could we maybe rebrand uh, pirates? Yes, Yemeni's pirates, uh, pirates as as kind of like a misunderstood sort of a uh, almost make them out to be like a Native American type thing, like a a, a, a marginalized tribe. Like we can't. I mean, we just we just that had that had a noble set of, of values that they went by before we you know. You're, talking, you're, it all you're out. talking about doing a trail of tears. Yeah, pirate trail of tears. Uh, could we? Could we do that? that? I mean, we're not in, the, we're into not, history. We're not the military. <laughs> <laughs> we could do that. I mean, oh, you want make up a make up a, a, a? I mean, there is a I, I, look. Here's the thing. Am I even saying the right thing? It used to be Somali pirates, and now are Yemeni pirate? They are a thing, right? Because for a while we were just I thought we were bombing Yemen, but now there's these Houthis. Right mm. in Yemen, are they the ones who do the pirating? <laughs> oh God, I have no idea. The Houthi are, are rebels. There, are there any pirates in Yemen? Did you I, just make this up? I don't know. <laughs> I, I, now that I re- now that I now that you mention it, I remember it being Somali pirates too. No, that was years ago. That yeah. was like Captain Phillips. Mm. This is yeah, you know, that was like twenty years ago. Right. Things change, you know. The world, you know, you what? what this is the problem. We can't be podcasting and making YouTube videos and go. Well, why? Why can't I just promote? You know. uh um, Czechoslovakian rum. Like no one does. That's not a thing anymore. Well, why can't you know? Why can't I? Uh, like like Rush Limbaugh. He's uh, he's dead. Things evolve. Is my point. Countries and change. It's like you know, in the two thousands there was all Iraq war. Now it's like you know. Now we're doing Ukraine. It's a whole different. You know, this is what I'm saying. The, 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 so we have to stay on top of the times. Mm. We can't. We can't. We can't make the, the, the Somali pirates are going to pay us nothing. Look up, look, look up, look up Yemeni pirates. Make sure, make sure that there's a few stories about that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care what they're. Oh, okay. Well, this is this is these are Yemeni. Oh. That, that's well, oh, no, next one, next one. Oh, okay. Next, go back, go back. Next one down. Next. What to know about the viral Yemeni pirate? There we go. That's from ten years. What ago. What to know about the viral Yemeni pirate Rashid? Dominating social media. All right, we're good. 
Look, it's, it's out there. No one can accuse me of making it up. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> you want to read it? Let's, let's learn about him, I guess. Oh, <laughs> what happened? <laughs> well, no, I no, we teased it. Um, yeah, let's, let's find out about Rashid. Uh, a 19-year-old Yemeni pirate went viral on TikTok and Instagram after posting videos on board the Galaxy Leader. The Bahamas flagged cargo ship hijacked by Houthi militants and held captive since November 2023. Fake news. <laughs> and spoke to a popular sh- Twitch streamer, Hassan Piker, on Tuesday. Oh, wait. They already got Hassan? Uh, See what I'm saying? <laughs> Hassan beat us to the punch. He's getting that bag. You had the right idea. Yeah. No, we're getting better. They're like, you know, honestly, for people who have followed our podcast for a while, I think they'll look at this and go, look, they, really, they had the right idea, but they just they just got beat by Hassan Piker. And that's, you know, he's a much bigger streamer than us, or whatever you want to call it, content creator. If you have any suggestions for, for just... Um, who we can debase ourselves un- to? Unforgivable. <laughs> what war crimes can people. we, can we uh, um, uh, equivocate for? Yeah. Let us know. Let's make this interactive. Yes. What um was there a related thing to that? Um Yeah, so good luck to the Tim cast, I guess, and Dave Rubin. Oh, right, guys. yeah. Good luck yeah. to them. Um I don't do they know? Well, whatever. What's the, what's the difference? Yeah, like, did, did they know that the people giving the money were Russia? Like, who cares? Yeah, I mean, there's like pipe. I'm not saying, like, I'm not, I'm not holding water for Russia. But also, like, you know, I don't know. This war's been going on for a long time. Yeah. It just seems like it just seems like a lot of people are doing a lot of weird stuff at this point. We're getting we're selling fucking fighter jets over there now. It's like are we trying to go to war? I don't know. It just seems it doesn't seem like we should be like, you know, uh arresting people for well, I guess they're not getting arrested. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> There's an indictment. That means something. Right. I don't look. I, like, should it be illegal to take money from a foreign power? Isn't that what we did with France in the revolution? <laughs> <laughs> Didn't I mean, should, did Washington get in trouble because Lafayette helped him win a battle or two? No, he didn't. No, he didn't. So why is why is Tim Pool and Dave Rubin being persecuted? <laughs> Just because he said Ukraine's our enemy, I believe, or something. But that, that guy, you know, he, uh, he's, he's got a good gimmick because he trolls a lot. And he says, I'm a troll. I, tro- I do everything on Twitter as a troll. And we got to start saying that. Everything's a troll. So we can just say whatever we want. Mm. We can just talk about the Yemeni pirates and how great they are. And then when, and when people call us out on it, we can just be like, yeah, it's a troll. It's a troll. <laughs> Don't worry about it. It's a troll. <laughs> but you're getting paid by them, right? Yeah, it's a troll. Yeah. They pay me the troll. <laughs> they love troll. They love it. They like, they like the onion. <laughs> well, yeah, do you think the onion created trolling? Um, who, that's just satire. Did, who did create trolling? I remember, I remember following this. I, I don't know if he counts as like an early troll or something. Yeah, but I, he did. David Hing, uh, John, John Hingley. <laughs> Was that trolling? I don't know. Uh, but he like uh, I I forget I forget what his username was, but he would comment kind of like uh, I don't know like sort of artistic things, like it wouldn't just be like you're a slur slur slur. Right, that's not trolling. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. Okay. But uh, <laughs> all right. Well, it's this, this made up guy. But uh, Santa Claus. I don't know. But but you know it seems like uh, but yeah now that like the line between trolling and saying uh, terrible things is is thinner right we we could do it sure I mean, yeah but that's a good defense your honor like he's talking to like the supreme court like your honor i, I, I was trolling <laughs> i mean that's what the and he's like why would you threaten to kill why would you threaten to to kill yourself as part of a troll uh, <laughs> self-delete first of all <laughs> say self-delete sorry to the judge um that's a good point that we should tell the, the pirates maybe like, like we, we should, that's part of our gimmick right you know like oh this woman this woman was you know beaten and they took her they took her diamonds and they, they were trolling her they were just trolling her these pirates <laughs> yeah <laughs> um anyway moving on uh there's this video here um this is a, a robot what is, this, what is this from Sky News? Watch, this is how a mushroom wearing a robot body dances. 
So the scientists grew mycelium into the electronics of two new robots and then watched how they moved in response to light. This could be a new way of controlling robots. Hmm. Here's the thing. I, think I, I remember when the movie came out. This What was it called? War of the Worlds? No. Um, the one that Al Gore made. Oh, An Inconvenient Truth. An Inconvenient Truth. And I never watched it. And I've always kind of felt be, like behind the eight ball. I know, I know the premise of global warming and climate change. But I feel like I've always I'm I'm just been behind the eight ball a little bit with this. But we're we're still agreeing. Scientists are still agreeing. Whether you agree or not out there, scientists still seem to agree in global warming, right? And climate change. Yeah. Yes. And that's a real problem. Right? Uh, wait, wait, wait. We agree. It's a real. I'm just yeah, follow me always, here. Follow yes. me here. Oh, all, I'm, I'm sorry. I thought you were saying it was a real problem that they believe it. No, <laughs> no. I'm saying like, that it's supposed, to, it's supposed to be a problem. Yeah. And that it could destroy humanity effectively. Oh yeah. Like, and I'm, not even, I'm not countering that. I, I like. I'm not the. I'm not the biggest. But I'm not, I'm not Greta Thunberg. But I'm just saying. But that is what uh, most. The whole thing is like most scientists agree on that. Why are there scientists doing this? <laughs> This can't be the priority. We're like, if, if, we're, if the world's really on the verge of collapse, why are we putting make, making mushroom-powered robots? Look, you're saying that now, but what about when the day comes that you need a robot arm and you need a mushroom in it to, so that it can move? So I'm gonna have a mushroom in my, in, like, smelling up my my, my, my arm socket. <laughs> it's gonna, it's, it's not gonna, it's gonna wear away. It's not gonna. I mean, the mushroom that's what, that controls it. You're talking about my brain. You want my brain to be replaced by mushrooms? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> like if you if you have me like if you have me if you hit me over the head with something heavy and I have a traumatic brain injury and you just put mushrooms in my head to move my arms so I can sign checks from, from the Houthis, <laughs> the Houthi rebel checks that you. <laughs> well, why? What, what's the? I mean, look. Why are you? Uh, why are you so against having your brain replaced with a mushroom? What, what if what if it wasn't that different? Because mushrooms aren't me. All right? <laughs> At the end of the day, we're just, we're just we're self-preserving creatures, and I just want I just want I just want to be alive. What if you could have a robot pet that I was just, operated by a mushroom? And we're gonna live underwater when 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 the when the, when the floods happen. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying, like all these sites, they're making AI, they're building these, uh, you know, they're, they're making you know pictures with this AI generation that like just you know. Uh, of, of like you know, Beyonce uh, on a hang glider or whatever. Mm. Well, I mean, hang, that, that's got a connotation of uh, you know attacks now. Whatever they've ruined hang gliding now. The the, the war the Israel Israel Gaza war. But, but what's the more benign thing on a jet ski? <laughs> Beyonce on a jet ski. Is that worth being living underwater? Maybe you should just make. I mean, maybe focus on making scuba gear. Mm. That's more accessible. I, 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 am I wrong here? I mean, people are some people are skeptical of global of the whole climate change thing, That's and true. I don't think this helps that we have people at MIT or wherever this is just making you know. Just, I mean, if it's really shouldn't all the science if like we knew the alien, the, the aliens of Independence Day were coming, mm. wouldn't we be working on like weapons to attack the aliens? We wouldn't be. I mean, I mean, if you had scientists who were still trying to make like a smaller iPod. While the aliens were coming, you wouldn't wouldn't that be a, like wouldn't that, that they would that wouldn't be in the movie, like they're like they're building a cannon right, and then these guys just like oh it's like it's, it's actually got uh, two more gig of, of memory, he can put more you know Snow Patrol songs on there or whatever. <laughs> it um, wouldn't be a priority. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I think that we've basically moved on from trying to solve climate change, and now we're 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 trying to. Give other kinds of creatures bodies, okay. so that, that maybe they can do something about it. Okay, so I, can, I I'm allowed to just you know run my run my lawnmower all day now. <laughs> um, yeah, I think it's fine. I got I got well, I guess side eye when I bring a lawnmower to the dog park. <laughs> just turn it on. <laughs> I keep pulling with oil, and people people get really mad at me. Hey, what about the you know? And it's just blowing, it's just blowing like black smoke into their dog's face. <laughs> I'm like, hey, it's whatever. It's like, oh, it was climate change, people. Get get lost. It's not, we're not gonna fix it. We're building mushroom robots. Well, I'm not the problem. <laughs> um. <laughs> Just, I'm sick. Of, I'm sick of these like Karens giving me giving me guff because their dogs choking on gas. <laughs> uh, I I think we need to do this with more animals. More, like an, more animal? This is not an animal. Or, it's a mushroom. Oh, right. It's not an animal. <laughs> more food, you mean? Uh, more uh, more things, more creatures, more living things. <laughs> okay. Like, it's... it's, it's yeah. <laughs> I guess technically the mushroom's living, sure. 
So, you know, we have a body for a mushroom now. I want I want to have a little robot body for a dolphin. A robot Cause dolphin. Because they're pretty smart, it's like right? C- that movie, that show Sequest, DSV. Yeah. With Roy Schneider. Oh, right. And they had a, do- a dolphin. That, like, they, had, they had, like, a bunch of computers they put on top of them that probably in real life would have weighed him down and killed him. <laughs> but, like, you know, but he could talk. <laughs> that sounds cool. Yeah. We should make that happen. <laughs> That was, that was like the first season. Then, then the show, we should watch that show, Sequest. Because I remember the first season or two was that. And then, like, I guess the ratings weren't good enough. So they got rid of Roy Schneider and brought in uh, Michael Ironside. And the whole thing became about war. <laughs> like, they're going to get rid of this do- do- talking dolphin. Then we're going to just shoot things. <laughs> a lot of fun. <laughs> um, um, yeah, so what, I guess we can learn a little bit about is there is there more to this? Or is it just... Oh, okay, yeah. Oh, this is a wa- this is a watch thing. Researchers at Cornell University and the University of Florence created a pair of new robots, one shaped by, like, shaped like a starfish and the other on wheels, and then grew mycelium in, into the electronics. Did they ever tell you how when I, I went fishing on um, a Boy Scout trip one time or a Cub Scout trip, and uh, my dad came, and I caught a starfish, and I, I cried. Yeah, I wouldn't, they wouldn't let me keep it, and I cried. No, you didn't. I wanted and to keep I wish it. you had. <laughs> I was a little kid, but I, I don't know if I cried, but I was very upset. I might have cried. Oh. <laughs> but I was more like more like mad. You know, you cry, and you're so mad you cry. Yeah. People like to hide behind that. You hear that? Like, t- like alpha males are allowed to do the. I'm just crying because I'm so mad. Because <laughs> you want to eat my starfish. <laughs> anyway, but, <laughs> so when I hear starfish now, I get, I get triggered. Go on. <laughs> Why wouldn't they let you keep the starfish? Well, it's not, it's not food. Mm. But I was like, I'll just keep it. And like, I you can't just put glue on it or something or lacquer. I didn't know what lacquer was at the time, probably. But you could lacquer it or something, can't you? I think you can lacquer anything and it just stays there. Like, why do people even pay for taxidermy? Can't mm. you just dump a bunch of lacquer and it just turns into like a kind of glassy kind of <laughs> thing? I don't know. I was dumping in paint. Yeah. Oh, oh! It, like they didn't want the the starfish's rotting body around. Who? I mean, that that makes some sense, I guess. Right. It's like you... it's like going to the store and just getting like a pound of chicken breast and just like leaving it in your room, probably. <laughs> like, this is gross. <laughs> That's true. I guess it would have innards that would rot. Sure, and, and, and I look when you when I I got fishing merit badge at some point, and you learn how to gut a fish, mm. which you don't have to be a boy scout to gut a fish. You're a lot, everyone's allowed to do that, mm. but I don't know how you gut a starfish. Much sure. I guess you just kind of there is a hole, so you just take one of those fillet knives and you just kind of jam it in the hole probably and scrape around. Yeah, there you go. Until stuff falls out. Yeah, you know, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> The fact fun- the fact fungal networks are alive and thrive in all sorts of conditions <laughs> makes them ideal for controlling robots in unexpected environments. Well, I guess maybe you're right. Maybe they are. <laughs> By that they mean like a, they mean a, a, a world full of climate change. <laughs> Living systems respond to touch. They respond to light. They respond to heat. They respond to even some unknowns like signals. And the studies lead uh, said the studies lead author Anand Mishra from Cornell's Organic Robotics Lab. Well, that's interesting. That's, uh, I mean, is Corn- isn't Cornell more of a farming school? I bet you, I bet you make better soybeans for me. <laughs> right? And leave, leave the, the mushroom roll. I guess that makes sense. They're growing mushrooms. Mm. You farm mushrooms or they just grow on trees? How does this all work? You, you, I know you can, I, I don't know if the, the, they built this using foraged mushrooms. I'd imagine they probably grew it, right? Yeah, I bet, again, as I mentioned him twice, but, but I used to listen to those Joe, those Joe Rogan episodes where he would talk about the, the people eating mushrooms in the old days and they got smart. That's how, that's how we, the monkeys ate the mushrooms, I guess. Oh, that was the whole yeah. gimmick with, the, with some of these scientists. They think mush, monkeys ate mushrooms or apes or chimps. A chimp eats a mushroom and, and grows a brain. Mm. Something like that. They became, they be, that's how we got, that's how we got smart. Do you think that's how it happened? Um, makes as much sense as anything else, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I think, I think, yeah, I think we just, I, I think the more food you get, the more, they say that. Sometimes they say, oh, you get more food and you grow the brain, but then, I mean, why weren't, th- I mean, I was going to say, why weren't dinosaurs smart? They seem to eat a lot. But I think that's because they, maybe they were, but they, they didn't have the thumb. Mm. It's not just the brains. You also need the thumb. Oh, yeah. No, like the a, any body is just a prison without the thumb. Yeah. Imagine being smart, but being like a like a brontosaurus or a T-Rex. <laughs> and you're like, I mean, it's not the worst thing. It's like it's like being smart and hot mm. where you can still like, you know, <laughs> bang whoever you want. And like, you know, within reason and, like you know, and like a. Uh, play sports and stuff. Mm-hmm. But like, you also could like, you know, I don't know, write great expectations or something. What smart people do. <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> and Disco- you, discover quirks. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever, but like, but then you then women wouldn't want women don't want to sleep with you if you know how you know what a cork is. <laughs> I mean, imagine like some woman you're trying to like get some bar and you, and you bring up corks. Mm. I mean, I, I barely know what, what is cork like half an atom? Is that what it is or something? It's, I, 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 <laughs> it's I, like I, a it's a thing that makes up an electron, <laughs> and she's just sitting there going like, so you like don't have a you just like nothing down there. You just like a Ken doll. Is that what's going on? <laughs> like, no, no, I can, I can, I can sex you. <laughs> They, 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 they just they just go get drunk with their fr- other girls and they fall like you know <laughs> describing women at a bar now <laughs> I'm the worst incel <laughs> these women they just go around they fall at bars what <laughs> try to tell them about corks and they don't give a shit <laughs> <laughs> Badly explaining what a cork is, and then calling a the woman a whore. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I I hate women and their sh- their shitty whore feet. <laughs> whore feet? Oh, because they fall. Yeah, because they yeah. fall. Why is that? Oh, yeah, yeah. Is that is that whole uh, idea of women falling when they're drunk because they were they were in heels? Is that? Yeah, I think it's mostly when you're wearing heels. Yeah, you're yeah. unstabilized to begin with. So it's kind of. Um, I'm not saying you're asking, but it's not, it's not, no, no one should feel bad for them. It's not, it's not, you know, uh, it's like you, you play, you play with fire. <laughs> you want your ass to look good. You better, you better learn how to walk <laughs> when you're drunk. Or we're going to, we're going to laugh when you fall. <laughs> I'm the new Tate. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, what else we got going on? <laughs> It wouldn't actually be a bad. <laughs> it might actually be a successful like TikTok or YouTube Shorts channel or something yeah. to just j- to just call it women falling. <laughs> I mean, sure, we could source the videos. Yeah, yeah. just women. Fa- I mean, is there that many videos of women falling? <laughs> we just, we end up faking it. Um, yeah, I'm sure there's. We some. just pay women to fall at the bar. It doesn't matter if there's not a lot in general. If if your channel is a constant stream of women falling. People will eventually accept that it's that we they have to, always do that. We have to move to a smaller city, like maybe Chicago or like M- M- Milwaukee or whatever, mm. and it'll get known. It's like you know by these women at like whatever the local scene is, because in New York everyone is just too anonymous, right? And we want people to know. We want to get known for this, because <laughs> people go, well, "That's Ray and Lucy. They, they they run this weird TikTok channel, and they'll pay you money to fall if you if you dress hot. Yes. If you dress like a if you dress like a slut, they'll pay you money to yeah. fall." And so, like, people will end up, it'll, like, once it catches on, people will start doing it. We need to move to Milwaukee. Like how the, like how the dating podcast kind of, like, they have a symbiotic relationship with the OnlyFans girls. Right. We, we, oh, that, that, whatever, whatever. Yeah, they yeah. bring on the, and, then, and where do they get the fat girls from? <laughs> the, co- the cocky fat girls. <laughs> <laughs> those are, those are uh, farm raised. You know? <laughs> but. <laughs> we gotta like uh no we we gotta start an account called women falling and then yeah. every, every video we post it'll just it'll be captioned with like <laughs> it'll just be captioned with something simple like just like it'll be like a woman falling in her heels and mm-hmm. it'll just be captioned i, I fucking hate women <laughs> 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 this is why you say in the quiet part out loud <laughs> this, this, this is why women can't be president yeah. Yeah. No one really cares about that anymore. No one cares about the pre- president. President's not really a yeah, desirable thing cares. anymore. But that's like, I'm not, all not the neg- right? I just I just did I just did the thing though. Yeah. I just negged you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, it worked. Um. Um. You know, you know who's gonna be the biggest viewer of the channel? Who? Women. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's the biggest. That's the, 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 the still the one unkept secret or untold <laughs> secret of all of this stuff. Is that women are the biggest? They love it. Oh, they yeah. love they love anti woman media because no one brings women down like other women. <laughs> so like, oh, are you doing it? <laughs> we gotta start some fake accounts like woman fake woman accounts. Yeah. that are just like I'm a woman and I think this is disgusting. <laughs> like that's the, the, <laughs> that's know. gotta fill the. Concept. Another one's like I'm a woman. And I'm getting paid by Russia <laughs> <laughs> and Houthi pirates. <laughs> um, speaking of. It's really not the same thing. But this is uh, what's this pineapple thing? 
The Spanish pineapple? Or is oh, this? yeah. Because this reminds me of that somehow. This is quite a, 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 what do you call it? A grab bag. Eclectic is the word. It's, it's an eclectic bag of topics. Sure. Don't draw attention to the topics. <laughs> it's all just stuff that's on, t- on top of our head. <laughs> <laughs> or brain or mushroom, whatever. Um, so Spanish supermarket shoppers using pineapples to search for love and, and surprise TikTok a new craze. craze. So this is, this is the kind of thing we should we need to incorporate this into the women falling. Yeah, because it's also on TikTok. We need to like kind of. So this is a new thing on TikTok. Uh, singles. I mean, scroll down. Let's see. They put a pineapple in your in their trolley. A trolley is like a like a cart, right? <laughs> what is this? what? This is Spain. Yeah. What happens in Spain? <laughs> Span- a social media craze in Spain where people are encouraged to seek out prospective partners in supermarkets with the help of pineapples has led to some chaos. Isn't everyone in Spain hot? Um, I think they're all just hot and carefree and like they don't have to work that hard because like the government is like kind of whatever it's European. Yeah. And they'll just go clubbing in Madrid or Barcelona. Like what are they why I mean I know like America, everyone's just like you know, everyone hates each other and a lot of us are fat and and, and, and we're, and we're all depressed because we eat like weird food. That like has chemical, but it's, we're in Spain. I thought the whole thing was Europeans. They just they're free with their bodies, <laughs> and they drink wine all day, and they just make love on the on the Rivieras, right? All, all different Rivieras in Europe. That's why, how it's supposed to. Why be. do they need to be putting pineapples in carts to, to meet people? <laughs> What's going on here? In the city of Bilbao, uh, northern Spain, police were reportedly called by workers after a flash mob of, of hopeful singles packed a Mercedona store and. Overwhelmed it. I don't associate Spanish people with flash mobs. It seems like something, you know. But we'll go, on, yeah. The crowd quickly dispersed when officers arrived and no one was arrested in the incident. Singletons have been strong has have been drawn to branches of the supermarket chain, where it is claimed that they can find romance if they visit between seven PM and eight PM and put a pineapple upside down in their trunk. Right, I think I think what's happening because this, this girl's this girl's beautiful. Yeah, she's gorgeous. She's very pretty girl, right? And her friend's like, you know, she's no she's no pig. You know, she's not as hot as her, but whatever. Yeah. Everyone needs a less attractive friend. And uh, maybe she's dragging her friend to, the, to, to get a pineapple and put it inside her. <laughs> I mean, that's what I think is happening. I think he's, this is a guy with a pineapple. He's also attractive enough. Yeah. He's a pretty attractive guy. He's got his chain. Why is he? Maybe this is, look, maybe we're, we're projecting an American mindset onto this. If you did this in the United States, yeah. you'd, just be, you'd just be mocked as a pathetic loser on social right. media. But maybe when you do this in Spain, you actually get laid. I think they get laid anyway. I think this is literally what's happening here. I think they're just meeting up in supermarkets to put pineapples inside each other's asses. <laughs> and like we're, we're acting like it's like dating. It's like, no, no. They're literally just getting off on, on doing it at the supermarket <laughs> with a pineapple. <laughs> it's just like they're real freaks over there. This they guy love even it. has a look on his face like, I know where this pineapple's <laughs> yeah. going to be. This is the only way I can come. In my, in my ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, a girl looks at me while I have a pineapple in my ass. Uh, I mean... Yeah, if they if they like someone, they bump their trolley against theirs, indicating they are interested in chatting to them. It, I feel like, this, look, see, here's the thing. Much like the, our, our deal with the Houthi rebel pirates, and, and, how, and I'm, I had to scold you because, no, we're not getting paid, but this is that. Someone, someone's getting paid to make up some story about Spain. Mm. So it seems like, oh, no, no, nothing's better in Europe. You know, they, they, now people go, oh, they, you can't make money in Europe. You can't make money in Spain. You can't get rich in Spain. Who's getting rich here? Six people, mm. all right? But, 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 you know, in general, I feel like people might have better lives in Spain Yeah. than the average American. I think you have to have a better life to believe that this is going to work, that, that, to have faith in something like that, like a, pi- a pineapple. Well, I don't like think it's – I think it's all made up <laughs> is my <laughs> point. I'm saying that none of this is happening, and, we're, and someone's creating an article here to convince Americans, no, let's see, over there, they, they have the same problems we do. They had to do the stuff with pineapples, and a witch has to come and 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 and, 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 and purify the the, the to, get, to get a date. Like no, no one wants no one wants to tell Americans. No, they're just they're just they're just drinking wine, and banging all day, <laughs> in, in Madrid. I listen to Skrillex. It's just fantastic, you know. This this is just, you 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 you're in the, you're in Detroit trying to you know, and a bunch of dogs, wild dogs are, are trying to hunt your child. And you're reading this article, like, well, at least I'm not in Spain. Imagine having to do a pineapple thing. <laughs> That's what all this is. It's all pro- everything's propaganda. So why can't we, you know, so everyone, get the bag. Why can't we get a bag? I mean, I'll, I'll write the article. I'll, I'll make up some story about, um, name a country, Norway. In Norway, they have to, to get a woman. You got to um, put um, toothpicks on your, your, your balls. 
<laughs> there you go. It's not as good. As, you know, fucking Trump never made you do that. Mm. Biden never tried you to get to put a pine cone in your in your, in, in uh in your ass. <laughs> What's that? This is just this doesn't make any sense. Um, no, it doesn't. This is I like, want to believe like, in this. This is like Venezuela and Christmas. <laughs> According to the publication, other items in someone's trolley provide clues about their intentions. This is such nonsense. For example, if someone spots chocolates or sweets, it means the other person is looking for long term relationships or something more serious. This seems like kind of like stalker bait. Like, you know, it's like I'm gonna put a bunch of secret symbols in my grocery cart yeah and you're gonna and you're gonna figure out if i like you no this is this is a fumbling uh, 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 spy effort this is like this is like this is how you like this is how you catch like a handicapped uh pedophile or something <laughs> but but wait, wait hold on but a legume or lettuce means they're looking for something more casual yeah no again again this is everything on the internet is fake um we're being lied to. I don't believe Spain even existed. I, 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 think, I don't think Spain's there anymore. <laughs> now, after reading this article, I, I, what, what happened to Spain? Did you guys bomb Spain and you're not telling us? Oh, Spain's crazy these days. They're doing this whole thing with pineapples. No one dropped an A-bomb there. That would be cr- Why would we do that? It just, I mean, this is, this is like when your dog, like, we, oh, we, your dog gets, like, put down. They tell your parents, tell you he was on some farm. <laughs> Well, well uh, adios, Spain, I guess. <laughs> Had a good run. <laughs> so thanks so much for tuning in. I think that, is that, you know, any final notes you want to add? Um, I would like to uh, start incorporating pineapples into our romance. I want to do things the Spanish way from now on. <laughs> I want, I want... On the way to the dodo bird. Someone... Want... Spain's over. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's gonna be Chris. It is Christmas coming up, so maybe maybe you'll get your wish. Oh, it's Mir- just- <laughs> miracle on, on October Christmas Street. Uh, remember, I can't wait. <laughs> like and subscribe. Uh, notification bell so you get the, you get notified every time one of these great episodes drops, and you and you tell your parents about it, and they go, you know, when are you get out of jail, and you go, don't worry about it. <laughs> Uh, also, patreon.com slash Ray Comp. You get an extra episode every week for five bucks a month. That's a nice deal if I ever saw one, but whatever. Whatever. Just saying, it's out there. So uh, enjoy. I'll see you next week. Have a great week. <laughs>